And the swift hand of social backlash and the harsh spotlight of social media has created a recent trend. In an instant, you can be canceled. It's a fate that comes with personal and financial cost. Some say the cancel deserved it. Others call it cyberbullying. Arcana Whitworth recently sat down with three people who were canceled and have been working to bounce back. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Raw and emotional. And that's what this video is here to do, to address it, to say that I am sorry. I'm disappointed in myself because it seems like I've learned nothing from all these past controversies. I owe everybody an explanation. These apologies posted on social media. I will media. be stronger and a better person and a better friend. Their alleged wrongs, all different. Their sentence, the same. Cancellation. Hey guys. And for those like Carson King, they don't even see it coming. I am embarrassed and stunned to reflect on what I thought was funny when I was a 16 year old kid. And I want to sincerely apologize. Do you remember this sign? I scribbled out, Bush Light Supply needs replenished with my Venmo account. You know, we never thought we'd get on TV or anything. But people did see him. By the time we left the game day taping and went back to our tailgate and had phone reception, I had over $1,600 in there. Carson quickly deciding all that money would go to the children's hospital of his rival school. Venmo joining the cause, tweeting, we see a lot of great stories, but this is one of our faves. Venmo and Anheuser-Busch pledging to match donations made to Carson's account raising over a million dollars in a matter of days. Local station KCCI received a call. Carson was about to give a press conference. I am embarrassed and stunned to reflect on what I thought was funny when I was a 16-year-old kid, and I want to sincerely apologize. The Des Moines Register, they were doing a, an article on me. And I guess one of their background checks, they do a routine thing as they go through your social media. The article's author unearthing a pair of racially insensitive tweets from eight years ago. Carson says they were of him quoting a comedian. Amid outrage, Anheuser-Busch quickly cut ties with Carson. I can't go back and improve and change what I posted when I was 16 years old, but I can apologize and work to improve myself every day and make a meaningful difference in people's lives. Carson had fallen into a growing phenomenon called cancel culture. When someone is canceled, that usually amounts to online followers rejecting someone in mass for a perceived wrong. The New York Times once declared, everyone is canceled. We've seen it from actors to comedians. I'm sorry if these words hurt. I'm sorry. If I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right, man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> that's not, that's not activism. My mentality is not discretionary. It could be one of the biggest A-list celebrities down to the local person that just happened to tweet something inappropriate. For people that think because cancel culture lives online that it doesn't have any real life impacts, what do you have to say to that? That is completely false. <laughs> it absolutely does have real life implications, especially for the person that is going through it, you know, the person that's canceled. Beauty vlogger Manny Gutierrez was canceled too. I had brands that no longer sent me PR, brands that no longer supported me, you know, so many different things that happened. And it was like crazy that a misunderstanding like led to like this. Known to his fans as Manny MUA, his rise began like so many on YouTube. I started in my bedroom on the floor in front of my closet, door locked. So I'm just gonna make a video of how I do my foundation routine. A soft box I bought from Amazon with my tip money that I would make from when I was a waiter and my mom's camera. The more Manny uploaded, the more people subscribed. Enamored not only by his makeup tips and reviews, but by his openness. I have been wanting to make this video for such a long time. I have vitiligo. I have my little brother here. Okay, this is hard, bro. Like, this is <laughs> Um, we knew he was he was different. Like I said in, in the beginning, I wasn't always supportive of the LGBT community. It does get better and it does get easier for those who feel like they're in a rut. In 2017, Manny became the first man to star in a Maybelline commercial and the only man that year on People's Most Beautiful List. And then in Forbes 30 Under 30 for 2018, later forming his own makeup company, Lunar Beauty. And so at the peak, how many followers? Oh my gosh, like I think 
I think it was five million. What? Yeah, it was five million. Is it on? It's rolling. Friends with other social media makeup stars, and all it took was this simple picture of a group on a night out and a cryptic caption to ignite an all-out beauty community feud. Accused of being a social climber, the incident was given a name, Dramageddon. Fans chose sides, digging up unsavory social media posts of those in that picture, and people started unfollowing. And so when your online life and business and passion started to come crashing down a little mm -hmm. bit, what was that like? Oh my gosh, I felt like the end of the world. It truly felt like I was like just not gonna make it. It was like the weirdest feeling because you work for years and years and years and you work so hard to accomplish these goals that you have and you cr and you create them and you make it happen. And you know, one thing can bring you down so fast and so quickly and you can plummet so much faster than you can rise. And that's how the snowball starts rolling. One person leads to 10, leads to 10,000. So if we were all standing in a room together, most likely most of these people would not be treating the canceled person in this manner. Losing hundreds of thousands of followers, potentially meaning hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost revenue, Manny was also receiving unsettling messages. It seemed like a lot of your followers may have been afraid to support you publicly because of what they deemed this mob mentality against you and this vitriol mm -hmm. online was really getting out of control. Absolutely, I was getting thousands of messages a day saying like how evil I was and how I'm a terrible person and how I should go kill myself and all these crazy, crazy messages based off of like one situation that happened and I have no idea what's actually going on behind closed doors. They just know of like what was shown in one moment. But you know, the mob mentality is so manic and so crazy and it was because people that I thought were my followers and cared for me were turning against me and being like, oh, like you're not who I thought you were. And then it makes you think like, maybe I do suck. For me, it's like, uh, you know, jaywalking and I receive the death penalty for jaywalking. An all too familiar feeling for Natasha Tynes, the communication specialist who was working on a novel. Oh my God. I was really excited. Mere weeks before the book was about to be released, something she did during her morning commute on the DC Metro changed everything. While on the train, I saw one of the DC Metro employees in uniform eating uh, a meal. Natasha ignited a firestorm after she snapped a photo of a black DC Metro worker minding her business and eating on the train, which is against Metro rules and tweeted it to the worker's employer, saying this is unacceptable. She says after people online suggested she delete the tweet, she did. It had been up for less than an hour. But someone took a screenshot of it. My phone just melted. I received death threats. They made fun of the way I look. Um, they called me fat. They called me, you know, the B word, they, they, they made fun of my children, they called me a bad mother, um, they, they made fun of my husband. Eight months later, the trauma clearly still fresh for Natasha. It wasn't long before her publisher canceled their agreement. I had a complete nervous uh, breakdown and I had to be hospitalized that day. Now I get how some people kill themselves over cyberbullying. What happened to Natasha online was upending not just her life, but her family too. I mean, even like the Google results, when you Google my name, you know, that's the first thing that pops up. That should not define me. She says part of forgiving herself meant talking to DC Metro to make sure nothing would happen to that employee she tweeted about. I sent them an, a, a DM um, via Twitter and I told them, uh, I'd like to talk to someone. I, I made an error in judgment by uh, posting that tweet uh, online. And they they thanked me and they assured me over the phone that nothing is gonna happen to the woman in terms of her job security. Natasha says another company has agreed to publish her book. For Manny, recovering from cancellation meant taking a social media timeout. While you are an online personality, you are a real person right. going through something very real. I left social media for two months and I didn't log on, I didn't check it, I deleted the apps off my phone. 
And I just really needed my own like personal break. I went to therapy for six months after, just to really, you know, strengthen up myself. Because I feel like, you know, when you think about it, when you're going through this online drama, it's happening online and it sucks and it's crazy, but like, you're not dying. You know, you're not like, there's so much worse things in the world. And I was having a hard time putting my life in perspective at the time. Having built himself back up, Manny was ready to rebuild his following too. Where's but mom? Like, I get remember, over here. mom, come on. This is where you learn. Yes, this is where I get it. So what does it mean for you to see this dream come to life like oh that? God. You know, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of the brand. I'm very proud proud of his hard work, that he puts his heart and soul into everything, but I'm more proud of him. His mom, dad, and brother, a key part of the business, releasing new business. products. Right, like, so I love, like, this was like my Greek goddess collection. My Moonspell palette, Paige, Phoebe, Prue, Piper from Charmed. And my mom worked on all of it with me. That passion, still alive. Do you feel that because you went through this, that you're sort of stripped down almost and more vulnerable? to your followers and that they might actually know a more real version of yourself now after this? You know, when you go through something like this, it just like breaks you in your own way and you're kind of like new skin all over again. And so I think it's more so I've learned different lessons that I went through this and like I still am very guarded in my own way. Like I'm still very like in real life, I'm guarded like when it comes to things because I don't want to get hurt again like I was before. But when it comes to my online presence, I feel like I'm a lot happier. I feel like I'm a lot more open with my following because like they've seen me at my most raw. That is why I'm even making this for my people that are still with me, riding or dying for me. For Carson, reckoning with his own cancellation and apology, he wondered how would people respond? I think in the end of it, most people realized, yeah, he was a kid, he was 16, He's not a public figure. Local businesses pledged to donate too, an ice cream parlor creating a bush light flavor in his honor. But not everyone came out unscathed. Remember that article from the Des Moines Register? Carson's supporters also did some digging. They dug through, you know, the reporter's tweets and he had a lot of, a lot of unsavory um, tweets. Uh, from his past that were a lot more recent than mine. The Register was forced to defend its editorial practices, later firing that article's author for his own offensive tweets. The author later told BuzzFeed the tweets were, frankly, embarrassing, adding, this event basically set my life on fire. I mean, I didn't think we'd get anything to start with, so three million is pretty cool. One funny sign, one man with a great heart, Carson now devoting all his time to fundraising while cautioning kids to watch what they post online. There is no question that these people that have been canceled by social media have done something wrong. They have harmed either an individual or a group of individuals and we cannot condone that behavior. But the aftermath of being canceled can also ruin these people's lives. Cancellation. A harsh sentence for some, a timeout for others, and whether an accidental celebrity or someone whose livelihood is dependent on followers, perhaps all anyone can do is log off and wait. Remember that you're talking to a real human on the other side of it. And being human, you, you grow and you learn and your mindsets change and all kinds of different things. Everyone makes mistakes. We're all humans, we all bleed red. You know, it's, it's not that I'm a terrible human because I made a mistake. It's because I am human that I made a mistake. In Los Angeles, Kana Whitworth, ABC News Live. Our thanks to Kana for that report.